Joining us now live is Napua Greg, a renowned musician, Kumukula, who is on Maui in the upcountry area. Kumu, we know you're in Pukalani. Can you tell us how you have been affected and the people around you as well? Aloha. Um, I live in Kula here on Maui and Waiohuli, the Hawaiian homes specifically. And, you know, there's a fire above us in Olinda. There's a fire below us on Pulehu. Um, thankfully, the Waiohuli um, homestead has has so far been spared. Last night was was a bit um, scary, you know, as we can see the fire approaching. Uh, the high winds is making it really difficult for our firefighters. I imagine um, my son is a my son is a heavy equipment operator, and so um, those operators are out there building firewalls. Um, there's so many people in our community uh, putting their lives at risk to try and keep communities safe and to contain these fires. The, the town of Lahaina is just devastated. Um, I don't think we've seen anything like this in our lifetime. And so we just, you know, my heart just aches for our entire island. Yeah. Napu, I, I can only imagine what, what you're going through, what your neighbors are going through. Your son is doing some dangerous but incredibly important work, so we thank him for that. C can you give us a sense of, of what the entire community is going through? I mean, it's, it's your area. It's, it's what Lahaina is dealing with, and there's just so much uncertainty, and the conditions aren't dying down. So you know, what, what is the community feeling at this point? Um, I think there's a lot of the, 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 the fear is being... Um, magnified by the lack of communication. One, there's fires everywhere, but our electricity is out. So we have um, no Wi-Fi in our area. Right now I'm at Kahului Airport. So that's why you hear the, the speaker, the announcements here, but there's no Wi-Fi in our area. Um, and, and in Lahaina, there's no phone communication. So, so many people are trying to reach their family members in Lahaina and there's no um, communication with them by phone or, or otherwise in and out. And so, you know, trying to locate them, I, you know, there's texts, texts or messages going back and forth. Um, I haven't seen, you know, if you look on Facebook or Instagram, you'll see pictures like, have you seen my, my sister? I haven't mm -hmm. heard from her from the afternoon and we don't know where she is. And so this morning we're waking up to like, where, where are they? You know, with people not being able to drive in to Lahaina. Um, you know, there's a lot of this is a this is the 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 emotions are heavy and high this morning here on Maui. We know it is emotionally difficult, and so many across the state and really across the nation are worried about you and your community. We wanted to ask you, though, I know communication has been poor, but have you heard of people who have had to escape from Lahaina or a country, and can you share any of their experiences with us today? So, you know, some of my students have had to evacuate their homes and I'm like, Kumu, they're just grabbing their, grabbing their pets and, and their most valuable, you know, people. It's, it's hard to think. Last night we were faced with that. Like, what do we take? Passports, your valuables, the dogs, you know, like, what do we, what are the necessities you take when you have to evacuate? Um, one of my students were like, Kumu, I don't know what my house looks like because when I left, the fire was in my, in my yard. So we don't know what it looks like today. Um, so, you know, they're they're safe, thankfully. Thankfully, the, you know, our, our prayer is always that, that lives are not lost, that are, because you, you just cannot replace lives. Um, but we just pray for the safety of our community. There are shelters, you know, thankfully our mayor and all of our county officials, are, are organizing their shelter set up out of these areas. So Lahaina, Ula, Kihei, those shelters have, have been moved to the Kahului area. I know Maui High School is a shelter um, to get our community members out of those affected areas. Uh, again, we're speaking to Napu Greg, uh, renowned musician, Kumuhula. 
Uh, you said you live in Kula, uh, Kumu, but, but your, just your thoughts, someone that, that, that knows the area, that lives there as well. I'm sure you've seen some of the images, if not all of them at this point, but what goes through your mind having lived through it and seeing the extent of all the damage? You know, it's devastating, but I'm hopeful that um, one thing I know that it, it takes it takes a challenge to to see the real strength of our community, and I have great great faith in this community. Um, you know, we we we're a close knit community here on Maui, and and we're already people already reaching out. Like we will do whatever it takes to lift up Lahaina, to lift up our neighbors in Kula, um, to make sure everybody is taken care of. Um, we feel very confident in our county leadership. Um, I'm here at the airport, and let me tell you, I've never seen Kahului Airport more organized and efficient. Um, and so I have great faith in, in the leadership and in all levels, and, and believe that we will come out of this stronger um, and more knowledgeable and just just greater, you know, um, is, is my thoughts. Yeah, Napua, since you mentioned you are at the Kahalu Airport, I wanted to ask you about the atmosphere there. Are they able to get people off island? And is that why you're there as well? Um, like I said, I've never seen this airport more organized. Uh, the only difference I see is there is no TSA pre-check line but they're moving, they, they're organized in, in a very efficient way so that the TSA line is moving very quickly and they're getting people through very quickly. And so um, there's, there's no chaos, everything is, is, is orderly here. I don't, the airport doesn't look as crowded actually as it normally is. And, and no, I was scheduled to, I'm en route to Japan. And it's, it's a trip that I was scheduled to make um, before. And so last night, you know, I couldn't, I did consider calling off this trip because, um, because of what's happening here. Because, and not because of, I, have, I feel confident that my home is okay and that my family members are okay. I want to stay because I know my community is going to need the help, but we're not sure yet when we're going to be allowed in to Lahaina or into the affected areas to be able to help. So I decided I'll go now to do my work in Japan. And when I return on Monday, we're going to be ready to roll up our sleeves and dig in and do what work is required to rebuild our communities. Yeah. Napua, we appreciate your, your strength and your positivity. Uh, greatly appreciated this morning. Right. Mahalo Nui. Stay safe out there. We'll be thinking of you and your community. All right, we'll be right back. Thank you.